I don't know about that. Exhaust valves that are open. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, basically my whole bike's check out, you know. But I, I need a new radiator though. Um, I've been searching, searching around for a new radiator for a decent price. Then uh, I don't know. I think I got a. a Exhaust leak. Uh, most I mean, that's what I got. Cause sometimes it, it, it smokes randomly. So one one day I'm gonna uh, look at the. Well, first I want to find uh, springs uh, for the for the flanges because they they bending. So I don't want to go back and rebend them again and mix and you know, make the flanges. And worse, worse than they are, because I can't really replace them. So I, I said, if that that goes, then I don't know how to. <laughs> I, said, I don't have a welder. I got an angle grinder, but I can't really get no metal uh, replacement for it. So I gotta be careful. So, but I think I might be able to find a. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me one of those uh springs that that can go behind the flanges so that way it can get a more uh more flush uh seat then that'll take care of some of some of the uh, bending from the flanges well, other than that uh, she running oh she's doing pretty good and uh uh well i gotta get another clutch back because uh when i was adjusting the the clutch on it uh, i i made it too tight so i ended up pushing wearing down the clutches make it making it slip so now when i put it into gear uh it doesn't in, engage so i need uh new clutch pads plates and i think i'm gonna go um i'm gonna try to get kevlar so that way I'm gonna be riding in a lot uh, throughout the next few months or whatever. So yeah, other than that, then uh, pretty good. Finally got my the lights the way I want them. You know, it was always too bright, but now I figure out a way to get them just right, just lit enough, just lit enough. <coughs> Ooh, shoot! Sorry about that. Just lit enough so you can you can know I'm breaking. You know, that's definitely for my safety. Cause so I already had had a wreck on this, you know, a couple months back. You know, I definitely don't want another accident, like a real car accident with this thing. But I plan on getting um like strips, reflective strips on it once I uh once I put the get the clutch pack. Uh, radiator and uh, gotta give me a new battery but I, I can work work with the battery though other than that uh, yeah then after that I'll be able to um, pretty much put the flare uh, the fairings back on and uh, I guess address the uh, aesthetics of the bike uh, pretty sad you know if i want to get new fairings or see if i can get uh find some putty some body body fill putty i think that that might work on on the fairings to cover up the scratches but i, I might make it a, a reminder uh well, 
scratched up. Scratched up rear uh, rear fairing from the crash. Gas gas tank covering didn't do too bad. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that straight up. But yeah, pretty much. Uh, I can, oh yeah, yeah, that big one right there. Ooh. Yeah, pretty much. I can straighten it back out. Uh, Burns back out, you know, to make them make them decent again. But I gotta find the right putty and body filler, I guess. So I gotta do do some research on it. But yeah, it's, it's come a long way since uh, <laughs> July. Uh, past the last three, three, four months now. But yeah. Uh, anyway. This is a, a progress video to uh, say, let you know where I'm at with the bike if you're interested. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I keep you updated whenever I do anything to it. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please like and share my video. Subscribe if you want to. Anyway, uh, talk to you later.